Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory season 6. So in the last episode we had a Christmas episode and I really enjoyed it and I really got the Christmas vibe. Also we visited the human resources because Sheldon can't keep his mouth shut. <laughs> well I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today so let's talk in guys, let's get started. Hey will you see my uniform next? Yeah, interesting. Do you recall this conversation? Is Leonard, it gonna be Halloween? Go these on a steamer? Yeah, no, Sheldon. No? We don't need a steamer. Oh, why would why would it be Halloween? Looks like that rumble <laughs> chickens come home to roost. We just had Christmas. Hi, here are the makeup sponges you asked for. Oh, thanks. I thought I had more. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> Damn, you've got more makeup than I do. Yeah, I'm borrowing this. Hey, 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 hey. this is my Comic-Con makeup. <laughs> I love you, but there are some things a man doesn't share with his girlfriend. <laughs> oh, so they got into Comic Con. That's cool. I feel like you guys just went to Comic Con. That was San Diego Comic Con. This is Bakersfield Comic Con. It's a lot smaller. It's more about the comic books, the way these conventions used to be before they went all Hollywood. All right, well, you guys have fun. I guess I'll see you Sunday night. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on a second. Mm -hmm. Hold this. <laughs> what? What's that for? To show people when they don't believe me. <laughs> You have Ooh. breakfast on a Tuesday. You got this place looking you do it cool. On the weekend, you got brunch. Sheldon doesn't believe in brunch. He can't stand being at a table where one person's having an omelet and another person's having a sandwich. <laughs> oh. It's Leonard. He says they're on the road and headed for Bakersfield at warp speed. <laughs> Maybe it's the mimosa, but I'm going to give the kid an LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even understand why they go to these conventions. I know. Four of them work at a major university. They're all super smart. How can they still be into something made for 12 year olds? It's probably because they were bullied growing up. In a world where you can't fight back, superheroes provide meaningful wish fulfillment. I never even read a comic book, you guys? No. Uh -uh. I mean, it's such an important part of their lives. Maybe we should try reading some. Seriously? Maybe. <laughs> comic book store isn't far from here. That is an amazing idea. Okay, how many of these have I had? <laughs> Penny becoming super supportive girlfriend. I think you should turn on the GPS. It is odd. You know, I know I'd feel more safe if you'd turn on the turn by turn voice option. I love the turn by turn voice option. I'm turning it on, but just to shut you up. Leonard, bear left and continue on Interstate 210. <laughs> How did you do that? Ooh, sounds like that fellow knows what he's talking about. What did you do? I found a hack online. I was able to upload MP3 recordings of my voice to your GPS. That is so cool. Counterpoint, no, it's not. <laughs> Just turn it off, throw it out the window. Here's an interesting fact about Oh interesting dear, stuff. even with the interesting really? fact. He says interesting. Even numbered routes run east and west. Odd numbered routes run north and south. Look, Leonard, there's a bridge. Drive off it. <laughs> you know, we're not that far from Vasquez Rock. We got our costumes in the trunk. We could go there and have a little photo shoot. Yeah, it sounds fun. Oh, smashing. Now, Leonard, do you know how to get there? No. Yeah, well, luckily, someone in the car does. Recalculating. <laughs> Do you know which president signed the Interstate Highway System Act into law? The answer, coming up in 14 miles. Oh, dear. It's Eisenhower. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> They're like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> are we dead? Why are they staring? Who cares? Just soak it in. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> Hello, oh, boy. Hey. <laughs> Can you please stop staring? They're just girls. It's nothing you haven't seen in movies or in drawings. <laughs> we were looking for a recommendation about comic books. Oh, well, I recommend you don't open a store and sell them. Uh, okay, what do you think you might be into? Superhero, fantasy, graphic novels, manga? I swear I will turn a hose on you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of comics do the guys like? Um, a little bit of everything. Mostly superhero stuff. All right, well, who's the best superhero? I can't ask a question like that in here. Are you trying to start a rumble? <laughs> oh, Thor, he's hot. <laughs> yeah, he kind of is. He is. I agree here. Oh. And we're blending. <laughs> you creepy. Come on, guys, let's do this. 
Yeah, I'm sweating my bald cap off. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. I say we begin with a classic Star Trek fight scene. I'll set the timer. Sheldon, how is that a fight pose? Mr. Data's weapon is his mind. <laughs> Fizz is on the Borg. <laughs> Charlie's Angels. Oh my God, Leonard, someone's stealing your car. What? Oh. Hey, hey, come back here. Oh, stealing is against the law. No freaking way. The only thing left to do now is assign blame. Nice going. What kind of a person leaves his keys in the car? I thought we agreed this was all Kuthra Polly's fault. <laughs> nice going. <laughs> car! To be honest, I wouldn't even stop if I saw this. What's wrong with people? Why don't they stop? You know, what if we were to get in a car with a crazy person? <laughs> Look at us, Sheldon. We're the crazy people! Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. How did you guys finish so fast? I didn't know there were a lot of pictures and one page only had the word Brackadoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I have street smarts. That's true. What do you guys think? The story moved along at a brisk pace. It was overall, what's the word I'm looking for? Stupid? So stupid. <laughs> it's crazy they spend hours arguing about things that don't even exist. What a waste of time. I know, a hammer's so heavy that no one else can pick it up. <laughs> I don't think it's heavy. I think it's some sort of magic so only Thor can lift it. That makes even less sense. I mean... Oh, there it is. <laughs> the debate is coming. Is only... oh, wait, hang on. What if Thor's hand is on the hammer? I mean, if he's touching it with his god magic, does that mean I could lift it? No. Yes. Let's read it again. Okay. Yeah. Want some tea? Good idea. I'll help you. <laughs> wait, I thought we were reading. We are. We're just, uh... Giving you a head start. God, it There's must be so scared. hot in this costume. Oh, a little less belly aching. We're Starfleet officers and a member of the Borg Collective. Please, Sheldon, I am so not in the mood. All our lives, we have dreamed of finding ourselves inside one of the fantasy worlds we love. And look at us. At this moment, we are, in fact, a Star Trek landing party. You know, <laughs> stranded in an alien and unforgiving environment, relying only on our wits our fortitude, and our moxie. As long as we have those things, nothing Nurse! can stop us from Aww, that's mean. I hate this planet. <laughs> Whoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. Well, hold on, who decides who's worthy? Does the hammer decide? Yes. Whoa. It can't decide. It's a hammer. You said it's a magic hammer. If you're going to start comparing wands and hammers, can't even take you seriously. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I would be scared, to be honest. Hello. <laughs> Do that. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I, 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 four glasses of water, please. Anything for you guys? <laughs> Can I use your phone? Our car got stolen. Why don't you ask Scotty to beam you up? Scotty was on the original series, and we're next generation. Joke's on you. <laughs> we're not with him. <laughs> you can't pick something up in outer space. In space, there is no up. Oh, yeah? Then how does the sun come up every day? Hard to argue with those kind of street smarts. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I love it so much. Leonard and Sheldon have bombed the comics across the hall. Why don't we go look at those? And then you will see I am not wrong. Because if we were in outer space, if anyone could pick up the hammer because it would be floating around in a weightless environment. Yep, that's right. The slow reader used science. Suck on that. <laughs> Is there anything valuable in the core? Our clothes, our wallets, phones. And about $300 worth of makeup so this thief could look like anyone right now. <laughs> Uh, we're going to the Comic-Con in Bakersfield. They have a big costume contest. I don't know. Sounds pretty cool. I think I have all I need here. You guys need me to call someone? I'm guessing your mom's. Thanks, but we've got it covered. Okay, I just talked to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> we were just about to be super cool in front of the car. She for us and you ruined it. Great, we can still make it to Comic-Con. After all we've been through, I just want to go home. Don't be like that. Come on, how would talk to him? I'm with Leonard. Fine. Then I guess it's two against two. How do we decide? Yeah, I would be quite tired too. 
Actually, it's three against one. What? Well, what about the mission? You said we were a real-life landing party. Yeah, well, we're not. We have real-life garbage thrown at us by real-life strangers who think we're idiots. And to tell you the truth, I'm starting to feel like one. Aww. I want to go home now. Did we at least rent the car from Enterprise? Get it? Enterprise. <laughs> Screw you, that's funny. Well, what if the Hulk picked up Thor while Thor is holding the hammer? Then by the transitive property of picking things up, Hulk picked up the hammer. Hulk picked up Thor, Thor picked up the hammer. OK, hang on. If I go to a bar and pick up a guy, and he picks up a girl, and then we all leave together, did I pick up the girl? This is a good point. <laughs> did that ever happen? <laughs> hey, we talk about me, or we talk about Thor. <laughs> Well, I say that's the last time we ever go outside. <laughs> Look right here. Red Hulk is picking up Thor's hammer because Thor's touching it. Are they actually arguing about comic books? <laughs> no, that, that can't be right. Maybe <laughs> Thor's hammer is a new color of nail polish. No, there's only one logical explanation. Somewhere in the desert, we cross into an alternate dimension. <laughs> yeah, the that's the only explanation. Sounds like a job for a landing party. Captain, what are your orders? <laughs> I say we investigate. Wait, wait. They might be hostile. <laughs> Fine, but set them to stun. We vaporize Penny, I'll never find a girlfriend that pretty again. <laughs> President Eisenhower oh, God. <laughs> from his hospital room. It is interesting. We learn something new every day. Shelly can start selling this. <laughs> Make some extra money. By the interstate system. Ooh, another quiz? <laughs> I'll eat later. Right now I'm suckling at the informative bosom of Mother Physics. <laughs> it's hot and Sheldon talks dirty. I found this website where you send them pictures, they sculpt your head, and make an action figure out of you. How awesome is that? That is cool. Yeah, you, oh, this is neat. I mean, think about all the action figures we bought over the years. It'd be kind of cool to have ones that look like us, don't you think? <laughs> I think it's cool. I I'd love to have my own figure. Cool. Yeah, so I'm out. What do you think, Sheldon? What an action figure that looks just like you? Would it come with Kung Fu grip? No. Don't waste my time. <laughs> you get that these are personalized action figures. Honey, if you want one, just get one. You're still out, right? Yep. <laughs> Come on, Leonard. A hush falls over the crowd as Cooper Who's studies the board. <laughs> Let me use my move. science brain. <laughs> You're working on a grant proposal for a new fusion reactor. I'm working on a grant proposal for a new fusion reactor. No, they're making us work together. I am one of the great minds of our generation. I work on a level so rarefied you couldn't even imagine it. I said stop looking at my cool train. <laughs> Our action figures have arrived. It's the best $500 I've ever spent. That's a lot. $1,000 on action figures? How can you afford that? Easy. His family's loaded and Bernadette has a great job. Say hello to an exact scale model of me. Oh my oh, god. I'm not dark chocolate. Oh man. <laughs> Shipping That's problem. Amazing. What? I believe I wasted all that money. No, oh, and my Can girlfriend not return wouldn't it. let me get one. <laughs> look at my face. Do I look smug? I feel smug. <laughs> Doing okay, sweetie? <laughs> Want me to make you some tea? No, tea is for when I'm upset. I'm not upset. The university's forcing me to work with Kripke. I'm outraged. <laughs> so, Coco? Yes, Coco. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like to be paired with someone who's so incredibly annoying? Oh, teacher, me, me! <laughs> you see, I did all this great work, and now he's just gonna come along and ruin it. I am angrier than ever and filled with despair. What beverage do you make for that? Hot apple cider with cinnamon sticks? Yes, I like apple cider with cinnamon sticks! <laughs> what the fwig, Koopa? What did you do? You were supposed to be in my office a half an hour ago. And yet now you're in my office. Point, Cooper. We agreed to exchange copies of our work. Let me see yours. Why don't you show me yours first? You think I just fell off the turnip truck? We exchanged at the same time. How do I know you're not going to take my ideas and publish them as your own? How do I know you're not going to do that with mine? Yeah, because I'm not interested in getting published in Mad Magazine. <laughs> Zingers fly fast in the Thunderdome, Barry. So we weed each other's work, meet again tomorrow? Nice twy, this is blank paper. 
I thought Coop was going to do the same. Valuable. Cough it up, Koopa. Very well. If this one's blank too, I'm going to be furious. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you have to use Yo. all the money that oh, you spend. So you better play as much as possible. It's only a waste of money if we don't play with them. Yeah, exactly. He's right, dog. There is a way we can get action figures to look exactly like us. Oh, yeah, how's that? Two words, 3D printer. That's a cool I idea. I've always wanted a 3D printer. Oh, of course you have. They're an engineer's dream. Yeah, but they're so expensive. Oh, come on. You deserve one. You've worked hard to find a woman who makes a lot of money. <laughs> Well, the prices have been coming down. Oh, yeah, true. They're practically giving them away. The monkey in my tobacco study has taken to smoking a pipe. I'm supposed to remove his brain to examine, but it's hard because now he reminds me of my uncle. <laughs> You've been awfully quiet tonight. Is everything okay? I'm fine. How was work today? Did you exchange your research so. with Kripke? I don't think so. He doesn't sound fine. Sheldon, what's going on? I read his research, and it's leaps and bounds ahead of mine. Aww. Which means the mommy of the smartest physicist at the university is not my mommy as I had thought. <laughs> it's his mommy. Aww. Sheldon, I wish there was something I could do to make you feel better. Can I offer you a consoling hug? What do we have to lose? <laughs> oh, Sheldon! I feel like I'm being strangled by a boa constrictor. <laughs> Why are you still so smart, Sheldon? So don't Why'd give up on it. <laughs> Sheldon, we're gonna be late. I can't go in today. I'm sick. You're not sick. You just don't want to face Kripke. No. See? <laughs> what did you do? Put this in your tea? Now I'm not even smarter than you. <laughs> Sheldon Lee Cooper, I do not have time for this nonsense. Now go put your clothes on, get in the car, and let's go to work. All right, geez. <laughs> chillax, Leonard, chillax. What about by owning a 3D printer, oh, we wow, are you reclaiming the manufacturing process and taking jobs back from sweatshops in China. I, I think it's done. <gasps> it worked. <laughs> we printed a whistle. <laughs> That's Amazing. cool. And we made it in only three hours. <laughs> okay, give me a superhero pose and I will scan you into the computer for your action figure. <laughs> Holding your stomach in, I'll give you a six pack with the computer. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> All right, you can suck it in a little bit. <laughs> Cooper, we have a problem. Your work is really not at a level I expected it to be. We both know what your problem is. We do? You have a girlfriend. My work would suffer too if I was getting weighed all the time. <laughs> yes. Oh no, he's gonna use Amy card. Oh, that Sheldon, Sheldon. What can I say? You know, she enjoys my genitals. I am giving them to her on a nightly basis. You had some brilliant insights in here, but if we're gonna make this work, you need to buckle down and focus. But it's not going to be easy, because when I'm with Amy and our bathing suit area is mushed together, is it boy howdy, is it magic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a cutie. Okay. Say hello to my little friend. Aww. I didn't think there could be a smaller version of you. <laughs> Anything impossible. Here comes the bride. Oh, Chloe, I love these. That's I so cute. Were they expensive? It didn't cost a thing. I made them myself. How? Kuther Polly and I bought a used 3D printer for five thousand dollars. <laughs> That's $5, a lot. Five thousand dollars for a couple of dolls? Are you out of your mind? At any point, did it dawn on you to talk to me about spending this kind of money? Kind of dawning on me now. <laughs> <laughs> he did. I can't believe you. Howie, we can't afford to waste money on junk like this. What are you talking about? We make plenty of money. I make plenty of money. You make peanuts. <laughs> You're going to return the machine, or you could print out a working set of lady parts and sleep with those. Oh, my God. Are you actually thinking about it? <laughs> because the truth made me look bad. Whereas a ridiculous bald face lie makes me look good. <laughs> anyway, if Kripke I thought asks, Sheldon can't tell lie. Sheldon, can I ask you a question? Well, of course. You ever gonna sleep with Amy? That's all well, straight personal. to the point. You don't ask Sheldon things like that. Maybe you don't. I do. What's the deal? All right, come on, be serious. Look, you guys have been going out a long time. 
She would clearly like to have a physical relationship with you. All my life, I have been uncomfortable with the sort of physical contact that comes easily to others. But I'm working on it, you know? Just recently, I had to put vapo rub on Amy's chest. A year ago, that would have been unthinkable. Now you know how I feel when I have to put it on you. <laughs> Are you saying someday you and Amy might actually get physical? It's a possibility. <laughs> Sheldon, I know this wasn't easy for you, and I'm really glad we could have this conversation. Hey. <laughs> like, there we are. And can you please make that out to Bernadette? I was taken off the joint account until I learned the value of money. <laughs> well, that's harsh. Well, the equation balances. But it's certainly not elegant. Whatever. You get any last night? <laughs> Why would you want to know? Give it to her good, huh? <laughs> no, I gave it creepy. to her That's well. creepy. Don't ask questions. Is she naked or was she wearing lingerie? I didn't notice. How could you not notice? <laughs> well, I was too busy squishing all the desirable parts of her body. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, Cooper! Can we get back to work? Sure, sure. You guys ever use any toys? Toys? I do have a model rocket next to my bed. <laughs> a rocket? You're a freak! I love it! God! Too much information for us. <laughs> Well, guys, so what do we have today? The guys tried to went to the Comic Con and unfortunately the car been stolen. I felt sad to be honest, but at the same time, lock your car doors, even though you're like in the middle of nowhere. There is always crazy people, you just can't see them sometimes. Yeah, oh, they, they didn't make it back to Comic Con, but at least they came back home and the girls were absolutely smashing discussion debates about the comic books. I bet, even, like, after, you know, they would sit down and talk together and just just talk about comic books i think it would be so nice cozy and cute and then in the second episode about the 3d printing oh god it was hilarious when they got delivered these toys of raj and howard wow <laughs> so funny and let me know if you would like to have your tiny miniature copy of you i think that would be really cool i would love to have it i'll put it i don't know where but on a place where everybody can see and i'd be like look Look, that's me as a toy. <laughs> that would be so cute and so funny. Yeah, and at the end, Sheldon line about him and Amy having hanky panky time. <laughs> oh dear, well, the truth will come out one day. But he also said that the physical relationship might happen. Well, hopefully it will be soon. <laughs> so yeah, this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!